video we're going to be talking about interior angles of a triangle specifically what they add up to and how we can use that to find uh, unknown angle measure start off with we got the interior angle sum theorem which simply states that all three interior angles are supplementary so all the angles inside a triangle are going to add up to 180 a couple of different ways that we can prove that Obviously, one way is we could use a protractor and we could measure each of the three angles. Um, but aside from using a protractor, we actually don't need that. We could just cut these angles off, cut all three angles off, and then put them next to each other or adjacent to each other. And then you'll actually see that they add up to or combine to make a protractor rainbow shape there, which is 180 degrees. Another way, a third way, uh, is that we can use the definition of some parallel lines cut by a transversal. If you're familiar with that, we can walk ourselves through that. If I draw a line that's parallel to any one of my three sides here, so for example, I'm going to draw a line that's parallel to this segment AB down here, then what I've done is I've created two parallel lines. The other side lengths are going to act as intersecting lines or transversals. So if we look at this side over here, we see that angle B is alternate interior to this angle over here. So they're actually both angle B. Taking a look over at this side, exact same thing is happening. Angle A is alternate interior with this angle over here. So both of those angles are angle A. So now we have on a line here, angles A, C, and B all combining or adding up to be that full line or 180 degrees. So a few different ways to prove it there and know that all three angles are going to add up to 180. Let's practice using it, setting up some equations and solving for some unknown measures. In this first example, we're only missing angle B. We know angle A and C measures, so we can combine those together and subtract that from 180 to figure out what's missing. So to start off with, we could say x plus 65 plus 30 equals 180. Combine our like terms and solve for x that way. Or we could know that since we're combining what we know, we could just subtract that sum from 180 degrees as well, essentially just doing that last step. One more time over here, exact same thing, just different measures, knowing that one of our angles is 60, the other is 55, you could add those together and then subtract that sum from 180 to get your missing measure. A little bit more complicated example on the next one. A couple triangles right next to each other. So we just got to do the exact same thing we did just a few times. So first of all, on the left triangle, we have two angles that we know. So we can figure out what's missing by combining what we know and subtracting that sum from 180. Realizing that what we're missing is 70 degrees. So that must have made an isosceles triangle here. Going over to this relationship, these three angles right next to each other are forming that protractor rainbow shape or adding up to be a line. So they must all three add up to 180 degrees as well. So knowing this is 70 and this is 68, we could take what we know, subtract that sum from 180, and get what's missing right there, 48 degrees. And now finally, in the right triangle, we know two out of three angles. So once again, we could add up what we know, take that sum, subtract it from 180, and we get our last unknown measure, which is 104 degrees. In this next example, Somewhat the same, except now we want to actually solve for x first so that we could get the measure of angle A. So taking our three measures here, combining them all together, combining any like terms, setting it equal to 180. We got x and x, that's 2x. 65, 45, and 80 is going to give us 190. Subtract what we know and divide by 2. So x is negative 5. We're not quite done. We want to plug that into angle A. So x plus 45 turns into negative 5 plus 45, which makes the measurement of angle A 40 degrees. Last example. This time we're dealing with a right triangle. Two different ways that we can actually deal with right triangles. One way is to continue doing what we just did, using all three angles, combining all three angles and setting it equal to 180. 
However, in a right triangle, there's actually a shortcut we can take. Because we already know that right angle is there, we know that the other two angles have to be complementary. They have to add up to 90. So we could just say that those two angles add up to be 90, and we could solve for x that way. Either way, we get the exact same x value, and we can plug that back in to find the measure of each of our angles here. So 2 times 12 plus 1 gives us 25, and 5 times 12 plus 5 gives us 65. Those two add up to 90. Add that with our third 90 degree angle there, and we know we have 180 degrees in that triangle. So there it is, a few examples solving for unknown measures in triangles using that interior angle sum theorem, knowing that all three angles are going to add up to 180.